hey what's up guys so today we're with <clears throat> i'm gonna be making another video um so today i'm gonna hit i'm here at this yard um so this is a yard i've been to before um uh, i just um i think i've only done like probably one or two things here uh it's pretty fairly new i mean it seems like a lot of people knew about it but um unfortunately i move really slow with the yards you know there's yards people have been on for like decades and things like that unfortunately since you know unfortunately in the graph game got a lot of beef uh, unfortunately didn't make those connections you know so obviously word of advice try to make friends not enemies um because there's a lot of stuff i could have done on these yards i mean i could have literally became better because um, i mean off the bat i was hitting mostly main streets and obviously as you guys know main street is a little bit more pressure it's a little harder to work with because it's kind of hard to get good and take your time if you're sitting here you know making sure you don't get caught so just a word of advice you know try to make friends not enemies you're gonna have beef regardless i mean it comes with the game you know if there's a somebody that paints that doesn't have beef you know they did a pretty good job at it but most of the time people are gonna get mad over petty shit go over each other um as you guys saw an example that just get up toy he um obviously got upset over a tag um there's also going to be toys obviously they're probably even newer than you and don't know um anything about graph um but yeah as you can see there i got that little pink thing right there that's you know piece i did it's actually in my in one of my earlier videos um so if you guys want to check that out you guys are more welcome to i was going to cut it in so you guys can see it real quick but um my editing skills you know they're still not that good i mean i'm still fairly new to editing so yeah um but yeah we're uh, i'm gonna go in this yard real quick i'm gonna try to see if i can make some space to paint um it seems already there's like a lot of new people hit this place um when i had hit it a lot of stuff was kind of old already but it seems like this yard kind of got active again and people are already buffing each other's shit i can already see stuff you know people going over other people's shit from last time i came here and um you know just depending on how good and bad they are can start beef may not i mean if you go over somebody's like whole piece with a fucking throwy and on top of that you didn't buff it out it's probably gonna start beef um i personally like this yard because it does have more talent um you know i did i didn't do too much of a good job recording um you know i'm working on getting a gopro but for now you know this will have to do and then you know i'm gonna be you know try to be more aware of my recordings um so yeah um so anyways um but yeah the, that assault piece you guys just saw right there um i actually had gone over somebody i had beef with um <clears throat> Um, I, I didn't really care. He went over me. He actually did a pretty decent job. Um, that cow's dude right there, the one you just saw, that throwy, that's, um, some guy that passed away. You know, apparently his friends are still throwing him up, which kind of goes hard, you know, could kind of tell you what kind of character he had. If, you know, you got people still throwing him up. That dude, I think, died like five, six years ago. That's an educated guess. Um, seems like there's a lot of internal beef going on because I see some of these guys that are throwing him up. And then um, some of the guys are, like, crossing him out. They're crossing out this dead dude, which is, you know, number one game in the rule. Don't cross out somebody that passed, man. That's fucked up. But it seems like they're within each other's crew. You know, some of them are even writing. They're writing disrespectful shit and so on. But anyways, um, yeah, this is uh, some of the work. Unfortunately, it's flooded, so I couldn't get in there. Um, that's uh, Seppo's dude. Um, you know, I, he's pretty decent. I've seen some of his work. Got some pretty dope shit. Um, we actually got beef with like one of the same guys. I mean, I don't know if it's called beef, but you know, and then this, this dude li livid, uh, I used to see him in high school. He's been around for a while. He used to just do the tags with that face on it, which I thought was pretty creative, but you know, seems like he finally moved over to bombing. Uh, this dude right here, this look dude, yeah, kind of toy in my opinion, but I get it. It's, you know, you start somewhere uh, that crew KTF he's throwing up. He used to be in that crew, bunch of fake ass cats. Um, you know, they pretty much try to set me up. Some of them actually didn't like me from the get-go. I didn't know they were in a crew. And um, they pretty much try to get me to meet somebody up in my old hood. You know, where I got beef at. You know, I got beef with gangs. You know, just people in general that don't even paint. And then people that paint, of course. Um, but, yeah. Um, you know, so whatever. The, you know, I didn't even know they're still around. Because um, 
a lot of them they kind of went their own way because uh you know the head of that crew he was like trying to set me up trying to get me me up a dude and call me a pussy because i don't want to fight like 30 people <laughs> at once and then um it was you know karma's a bitch like uh I think like two weeks later after I told, cause I had told him, why don't you meet up with the dude? You got problems with he's up the street for me and you've been in my house and you haven't even called him out. And he's one, he's dying to fight you over, uh, cause they had like, cause their names were really similar, but yeah. So, um, you know, they got in a fight over that, you know, that couldn't have happened to, uh, you know, if your names are really close, depending, you know, on the person, they can make a big deal out of it. These guys apparently have the same letters in their name. I think one of them just had like a letter missing. Not going to say the dude's name. Just, you know, not to give him any fame. There's a certain people I might mention by name, but yeah. But anyways, you know, that's their shit. You know, dude got his ass beat. His whole crew split up. I, and it's crazy because I still see him tagging around, but I don't see him throwing up that KTF no more, which I think is weird because he made that crew. So he probably might have just dropped out and some of the guys might have kept that alive. That tends to happen as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through here. This yard's kind of big. Um, there's even like, there's like, uh, another yard nearby also got a piece on it i'm go i go over a pink piece which uh is a dude i got beef with um also you know one of my videos if you guys want to check that out um and yeah so but yeah this is uh just one of the yards this is literally um by an amazon center it's pretty much like a industrial building it's kind of close to my old hood you know this is more the industrial side so it's not really you know dangerous and like that you know if you go more if i go up like two more streets that's where it starts getting a little you know I guess ratchet or hood or whatever you want to call it. Those ZO cats, the Z with the on top of the O. I see those dudes everywhere. Uh, they're killing shit right now. That image, uh, that's his name's image. He just says AMG. Um, IMG, uh, old school cat from what I heard. You know, I think we have some sort of disagreement, but we're, you know, good past it now. The Santa dude, dude's crushing it, killing him everywhere. Uh, same with the dude Buelo, you know, pretty clean ass piece. Um, I don't know how they do that multicolor shit. I've been painting for so long, and this is why I tell you guys, you know, you know, bomb is start bombing early, man, because shit, there's a lot of skills I could have developed. You know, I'm damn near considered an old school attacker. I mean, I'm not super old. Um, you know, I'm still in my 20s. You know, if you guys want to know, I can tell you that much. I just can't be telling you guys my age. And um, but I've been painting since I was like 12, but I was tagging for so long. Uh, it goes like, dude, cows again. Uh, like I said, man, dude got mad love, man. I see him down near in every yard, and then his homies go out the way and throw him up. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that says. <laughs> and then uh, this dude, uh, I mean, it's pretty clean work. Uh, unfortunately, I, I can't even read that shit. Uh, TAF, MHC, Ski. Uh, ski crew, kind of new. Not that new, but um, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty around. Uh, they've been around for a little while. That RTD, the Enix dude, he's shit, killing shit. Cows again. Again, you know, shit, showing them mad love. That's hard, you know. Um, I don't know what the fuck that says, but yeah. It's Toke dude. Yeah, that's that uh, ZO dude. Um, killing shit. Um, this alias or Alice piece. Um, that dude's like probably the best one in the yard, in my opinion, or at least one of the best uh this larry dude um pretty clean shit too i haven't seen him too much but yeah this is an industrial building i think this this goes all the way around um i haven't got a chance to go through it uh through it all yet um but you know yeah this is pretty this yard's pretty new to me and then um this neo's dude that dude's from new york i've you know he's shit international from the looks of it and uh plus this dude kind of pissed me off um i could see he's up everywhere i think he's like out of state too because i seen one of the videos like one of the ups in kansas fortunately he bombed one of the trailers also have it in my video you'll guys will see a pink bomb and there's another video that says two bombs off the freeway he actually bombed out with two little ass throwies and uh he had like a ladder or some shit and he got my shit buffed but anyways um but yeah you see guys you guys saw my dog in the video we're gonna be heading back unfortunately he can't handle the heat this is the beginning of summer for us so yeah unfortunately i uh, kind of regret being my dog um yeah but anyways this photon dude um you know he's been dropping that piece same fucking piece forever uh it's still pretty clean though uh, i like how he does that mario star in the middle again that bolo dude but yeah that dude photon he's a uh, you know he, i never even met him but we literally were around the same people a lot uh this elias dude i see he joined his crew called br um i used to roll with a dude still in that crew now uh you know stop 
the head of the crew he's pretty cool uh you know pretty clean shit too but i had a lot of problems with a lot of the dudes that were in that crew just like weird shit like uh, i posted up with one of them a while ago um it was a long time ago you know it's when i was like you know 18 17 um and did some weird shit he just was cool with me you know shake shake my hand and everything smoked and then the next day he goes on facebook and calls me a pussy and says he punked me which i thought was weird then i told him i was gonna pull up to his house because i knew where he lived and then he said it's my brother's house and just trying to do everything to avoid me meeting him there which i thought was weird because we didn't even have problems like should have just left it as is. you didn't have there's no need for him to have done that but i don't know maybe he's off drugs or some shit but a lot of other problems with a lot of other people in that crew so you know i just keep it neutral and i just stay off of that shit or stay away from them and I just stop cut pretty much anybody else cool off from that crew uh does that elias do it again i missed this piece earlier like i said probably one of the cleanest if not the cleanest cat on the yard uh but yeah anyways there are a couple more other pieces going down that way it's that abuelo dude again um you know if there's another side of the fence um i didn't go to it because i originally came here to paint um oh the mtk that's um they're an old school south side crew you know pretty much a lot of them were from where i'm from they're you know they're killing shit don't get me wrong i think they're international too like or they not international but they were on st other states um but a lot of people drop out of their crew you know where we had facebook back then a lot of the people were getting like jumped or beat up or something like that and it seems like they would drop them off of the crew if there was some sort of embarrassment but you know you take some you would lose some but I don't know. These guys just, I've seen they had a bad rep for keeping people around or just not holding it down for their own people. So they're kind of slowly dying out. Um, and there's a couple of little pieces over there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm off my camera phone. That right there, that would be this cat named Ouch. Another person I have problems with, you know, like I said, I've been around for a while. Uh, dude's weird. He uh, caught a city, the city bus one time because we had problems on Facebook. And I'll give him that, you know, he kind of had balls. Or well, at least he made me think he was about it. He drove, he literally got on the bus, rode it for like two hours to meet me up. I told him meet me up at a certain location that was actually closer than where he actually went. Dude instead decided to go into those apartments or projects that I used to live at where I have a bunch of problems. Uh, even though he told me he was going to meet me at the location. And then um, he's actually the reason, that dude is actually the reason that the KTF crew thing happened. He's the one that... um that i had uh problems with you know and then i'm i went i went to meet him up in front of by a taco bell that my friend's the manager at so you know he's like oh nobody's gonna call the cops just going to back and handle it with him and i'm like all right bet um and uh anyways um so yeah that happened they um um dude ended up going into the projects you know and then that's when everybody was telling me to meet him up. One of the guys that was in my crew, supposedly, right, or like so-called crew, claimed to have, um, you know, he's like, oh, I'll go with you. I got the chopper and shit like that. And he was just talking out his ass. And I was like, bro, you know, even just two of us, not to help. And on top of that, I don't trust him because he was one of the dudes that told me he didn't fuck with me at first, which, you know, and I could still feel some animosity. And, uh, yeah, so I was like, no, I'm not going. No, I trust my gut instinct. I was right because as soon as, like, I didn't meet him up where he wanted to meet up at because he decided to change the location. I even took a picture and uploaded like, look, I'm right here outside. I'm with my friend, but he's literally at work, so he's not going to jump in or nothing like that. And it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to record and everything like that. So if there's any foul shit, you'll know about it. And um, But, yeah, I'm not with that jumping shit. You know, that, I'm 100% against that shit. Um, even when, if there's a problem with somebody, I'm like, nah, let me throw the ones with him, blah, 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 right? But anyways, dude didn't meet up. Uh, two weeks later, he actually met up with somebody else around that area. So he, she must have caught the fucking buzz all the way back there. And that dude beat his ass. I thought this dude could fight, you know, for because he was, like, really confident and he was ready to go. Uh, dude couldn't fight for shit. Like, uh, you know, if he would have met me up, I would have beat the fuck out of him. Like, and I'm not trying to sound arrogant or anything like that. You know, at that time, I was kind of, you know, in boxing, you know. So I was, like, you know, I was in shape. I had hands. I was ready. I'm not saying I was, like, super strong or, like, you know, super skilled and shit, you know, I had just started boxing, but I, I definitely would have beat his ass, so I was like, man, honestly, him doing what he did, it saved his life, but it caused me problems, because, I mean, not even problems, it just made me realize how fake these KTF dudes were, but, you know, whatever, that's in the past, all those years ago, I mean, uh, these dudes, you know, half of these dudes are, you know, probably doing their thing, just painting and shit, um, but anyways, but yeah, man, I'm gonna, um, cut this video short, 
Uh, this, I, I unfortunately didn't get to paint just because, um, you know, it was flooded and I wanted to paint one of the flooded areas. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. Uh, walking back to my car now and then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to start another clip uh, in the same video. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and then I'll let you guys know what happens. Hey guys, so this is video number two. I kind of put two in one. I'm still trying to get better at this recording, editing shit. Um, you know, it's probably my second YouTube video ever. So, you know, just be patient with me, guys. Um, you know, watching videos on how to get better at editing and all that stuff. But, and I got a GoPro on the way. I just ordered it. Um, so, you know, I'll be here soon. And then that way I can, you know, have two angles. And, um, but anyways, yeah, man. So, you know, it kind of sucks. Kind of regret coming here. Um, you know, right here um, in this area, my dog actually got bit. We were walking out because, I mean, I cut off the video when we were walking pretty much, you know, done with the content. And, you know, I had my dog. I, um, you know, he's kind of usually behind me all the time, kind of snooping around. You know, that's what dogs do. And he, uh, I see, I just see him like freeze up. You know, he didn't make any noise or anything. And I see a snake just freaking like the, you know, pretty much the back of a rattlesnake go back into the, you know, into the little area. And I'm like, oh, shit, I hope he didn't get bit. Um, at first, I'm thinking, you know, he didn't get bit because I don't see a bite mark. And then um turns out he kind of bit him, like, somewhere under his leg where it wasn't really visible. Got home. Dude was about to pass out. And, um, and yeah, you know, but we got him taken care of. Took him to the vet, luckily on time. Cost pretty expensive, man. You, you're expecting to pay 3 to 5K um, if your dog gets bit. So just an FYI on that one. And if you guys don't have the cash in hand, you guys can always apply for credit cards and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's 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 expensive, man. So, But anyways, man, he's good. Uh, that's why it kind of, it's kind of been taking me a little while to upload more content or, you know, get better with editing because I was going to take my time on this. But, you know, I figured I uploaded this anyways. It's, you know, this content didn't go the way I wanted to. But um, anyways... So yeah, I came here real quick just to do a little throwy, kind of leave. Um, I always like to hit a yard, hit it with a little throwy. If I really, um, I originally wanted to sit here and actually do a full piece, like, like I'm talking about a full blown piece with a character and everything, but unfortunately, it's just not what was planned for me. And um, so, so yeah, but um, yeah, I came over here. It's pretty much under a freeway, kind of suburb area. You know, res. You know, like the res is like a, even within a few miles away. Um right here in this area right here where i'm gonna look at a glimpse of um i didn't get to walk over there i should have uh there's a few bombs right there that you can actually see off the freeway i'm thinking about hitting that at night but uh you know i'll come back to that another day because it seems like it's almost taken up and i don't want to cap anybody um i'm gonna do a quick throw you real quick um just pretty much some scrap paint i got some montanas with me i don't really want to waste them because you know i got a bunch of different colors so i can drop like a sick ass piece you guys will probably be seeing that in the next video. Um, you know, I don't know how I go about it. If I should just do like a quick video, like a quick short with a piece. Because it is going to be like full on blown piece. So it'll probably take me like an hour or so to do. Well, it shouldn't take me that long. But it'll probably take me a while. Because I'm going to be doing characters and all that shit. So it's going to be like pretty much I'm going to be dropping like the best work. I even got like tips because I've been using nothing but stock tips. Um, I haven't really gone through the show of like getting any kind of thin tips. Or pretty much, you know, fat caps and stuff like that. Um, now I did I actually went to the store and grabbed some pretty cheap, like 25 cents. Some of these hardware stores, they know what it is. So they'll sell you like the graph shit. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys saw the, if you guys saw earlier, I don't know if you guys caught that. Um, there was like some tweakers right there and, um, they're cool. You know, they weren't bothering me. They just like, you know, I was concerned they were going to snitch, but I saw them when I got closer and I'm like, oh yeah, this dude's ain't going to snitch. And then while I'm doing the video, I can like see them smoking a fucking perk. <laughs> so and I can smell it too, which kind of fucking sucks ass. And it kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, fucking terrible smell. But anyways, um, um, right now I'm working on trying to do more content. I'm going to be doing like uh, where I'm going to be just not re-record because there's a lot of ego sport. I don't want to just record my stuff because um, there's other. I like seeing graph in general. I love seeing trains and stuff like that. So I'm going to start um, getting better footage. Today's footage was kind of garbage, but I'm actually going to start focusing on getting footage of everything in the yards. And I'm going to just pretty much start uploading content so you guys can see, like, what kind of graph is out here. Uh, I'm also making a trip to see my family in Mexico um, and, T and TJ, to be exact. And I'm going to be bombing out there because uh, I'm starting to get comfortable out there. Uh, pretty dangerous spot, man. I mean, when we were coming back from TJ when I when, uh, when my grandmother died, 
uh, on our way back to the United States, it was like four in the morning and there was already like blocked off roads because, you know, somebody got killed over some shit. So, you know, kind of, that kind of puts me on, um, makes me uneasy. I wish I knew some graphers out there. I know my cousins and stuff like that. I'm gonna just have them drive me around and I'm gonna just go bombing. It seems like, you know, the least of their worries is graffiti writers are kind of worried about more cartels and shit like that. But, um, yeah, and then I'm going to start uploading also content. I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to start uploading content of me giving people advice. Um, I technically have um, never really been caught. I got caught for graph once, but that's because um, I was with some guys, wrong time, wrong, right, wrong place, one time, wrong time. And uh, these dudes, um, they had they were smoking K2, all that shit. And um, I saw I saw the guy I was calling the cops too. The cops took a while, and these guys were like, "No, nah, man, ignore it." Fell into the peer pressure. I didn't want to be. Uh, they kept calling me a pussy or whatever. And I was like, "No, nah, ain't no pussy." Cops came. Me and the one of the guys got caught. Dude had bloodshot red eyes. For some reason, they just liked me better. They let him go, and they took me. After playing bad cop, good cop. You know, I chickened out. I was under pressure. I let them open my phone. Um, never let them open your phone. That's one tip. And they always just saw the graph I did. And then some of the graph was nearby, which was bad luck that I took a picture of. And obviously, I got arrested for it. Kept went in jail overnight. Got bad out the next morning and got picked up. And well, I walked a few miles, and then I was on my way. Uh, I'm actually going to make a video on, on how I got caught the first time or the only time. But overall, like for graph, you know, myself, like, you know, getting caught up like in the act. I'm never I haven't been caught. I'm not going to say never, but I haven't been caught. And I feel like uh, there's a lot of craft channels out there. I give content about that. But I feel like um, I can give what well, I'm not trying to say. I can give better tips because some of those guys do give some pretty good tips. But I feel like with my experience and how long I've been in the game, I feel like um I don't know how to give tips on like doing billboards, um, how to go about doing rooftops, you know, trains and all that shit. Trains is actually my the least of expertise. I've hit a few trains before, but that's where, um, you know, I want to head to. I want to start hitting trains. And obviously I want to record other graffiti content and, you know, see what's out there pretty much. I want you guys to see everything. So I'm going to do a little bit of everything on this channel and obviously I'm going to get better with editing. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and, and, um, and, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then hopefully there's a video come up of me beating up that Just Get Up dude because that dude needs an ass beating. If you guys see in the comments, there's already people that are from the area that are starting to comment with the same complaints I have. So you guys can see what kind of compulsive liar he is. You know, I don't have nothing to lie about. I don't know much about the guy. so. But um, anyways, man, um, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, obviously uh, tonight I'm actually going to go out and upload some content. I'm actually going to go cap that, um, you know, GJU dude or Just Get Up dude. Um, I'm going to upload that content as well. It's probably going to be a short. It's just going to be me going over there, capping it. It's in the same area, but there's like some shit off the main street I want to cap. Um, pretty much keep them entertained and shit like that. And then hopefully one of these days I catch them and, you know, handle that shit, you know. But anyways, other than that, man, if you guys have any questions, you know, hit the comment section. I don't want to sound like those basic YouTubers like and all that shit. Uh, hit the comment section if you guys have any questions. Even if you guys dislike the video and if there's something you don't like, I'm pretty good with, you know, criticism so but anyways man um you guys take it easy man and stay up